A caravan of about 1,500 people is heading to the U.S. from southern Mexico, hoping to make it into the U.S. before President-elect Donald Trump takes office in January. It's the latest in what has been an annual process since 2018 each fall. People from countries in Central America have traveled in groups, making it more difficult for Mexico's government to arrest or deport them and avoiding having to pay traffickers to get them to the border. But the journey has often been dangerous as drug cartels have threatened and abducted migrants as they make their way toward the U.S. Policy changes by the Biden administration created a process where migrants need to make appointments on an app for their chance to be processed. However, people in the caravan say they still want to be close to the border to avoid missing their appointments. President-elect Trump has pledged a strict crackdown on migrants, looking to get rid of rules that allow many to temporarily stay in the country. He's also planning to deport millions of undocumented immigrants. Another caravan traveling earlier this month broke up after news emerged of Trump's win, with half of the people in the roughly 3,000-person caravan leaving in the days after the election. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more on this story, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit SAN.com.